So unfortunately, due to the 1.17 patch of EU4, we're going to have to stop this campaign here, but we'll look at the map one more time just to kind of see uh, an overview of what happened. And I did try to uh, kind of opt back out towards the original 1.63 patch, uh, which is where we started this campaign on. Um, that did not work. The mods are still, un well, the mods are not backwards compatible uh, to that version, and uh I, I don't really know exactly what happened. All I know is that I, 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 every time I try to enter the game, uh, it crashes. Uh, no matter what I, no matter what mods I remove, or what mods, or what beta patch or, or patch in general of EU4 that I try, um, it just crashes, which isn't really a big deal. I mean, this campaign was starting to wrap up anyways. Um, I would have continued on for at least another maybe, maybe until 30 videos, but um, this, is, this is an okay time to stop as well. Obviously, Germany did really, really well. Uh, they were involved in a war last time we checked um, against Man Manipur. Manipur, is that it? Oh yeah, that's right. They were helping out China. Um, this is the first time we've ever seen a campaign where the Soviet Union and I guess Russia, well just, I guess Russia in general it was so broken, and especially Scandinavia. Seeing what Scandinavia did was pretty amazing. Never really seen uh, something like that happen. Uh, unfortunately, Africa never became independent, and I, and I was kind of disappointed a little bit because I, I wanted to see uh, a bunch of nations kind of gain their independence, uh, but it was very cool to see Germany really pretty much control all of Europe. Um, at this point, though, there was really only a handful, maybe, you know, we've talked about the great powers still left, Great Britain, who was on their own. That was one of the only things I wanted to kind of see was what Great Britain was going to do because they were the only kind of great power without an ally. And they were continuing to, to kind of decline in terms of power and development and things like that. Uh, they never allied to um, Scandinavia, which was unfortunate, but I think they, they must have been close. I'm guessing that they were almost pretty close. Right now, Scandinavia is at war with the Soviet Union. Um, would have been nice to see exactly how that went. Oh, that's right. It was because of Latvia and Estonia. And they were going to lose a bunch too, weren't they? I thought they were starting to lose that war. Well, either way, we can't. We have a few map modes that we can look over. Uh, the religion map mode's not going to change much because I think most of the... I think everybody is secular uh, at this time period, right? Yeah, so every, every state is... is secular even though they have different religions so religion is not going to change that much uh trade is probably going to be continue to be dominated dominated by north america uh do we not get trade node values oh that's too bad it could kind of kind of be interesting to see that in this map mode here um and then diplomatic development there we go let's check on some del development geez north america is just unfair the development development in North America is just unfair. Germany obviously getting with, uh, quite quite a bit. I think Germany would have had a chance to catch both the U.S. and China if they ended up landing in the British Isles, since the British Isles literally almost every single one of their provinces are, geez, above 50 or something like that, which is incredible. Uh, surprised they never took out Ireland. Ireland existed this entire campaign, which is pretty cool. Um, and then yeah, obviously these these provinces uh, were probably going to be either lost to China or more of the Indian nations were going to get more territory or uh, more were going to be uh, brought, like, I guess, released from uh, British control, things like that. Um, but anyways, guys, hope you guys enjoyed this series. I'll be back uh, very, very soon with another extended timeline um, series like this. Uh, I, th I don't think it's going to be too hard of a guess to see, you know, it's a t too hard of a guess of what I'm going to do next. Uh, should be pretty simple. This was actually a very successful series, and I actually enjoyed it quite a bit, and I hope you guys did as well. It seemed like you guys really, really liked this, so uh, so did I. I had a very fun time um, watching this and, and narrating for you guys, and, and I hope you guys, uh, I don't know, hopefully we uh, we come back in, in this uh and we see different results. I'm pr I'm about 90% sure we're ne definitely never going to see something like this before, especially in the old world. Uh, the new world's going to always kind of be somewhat like this, but uh, the old world's always kind of different. Uh, but anyways, guys, hope you guys enjoyed the series. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time.